Okay, let's talk about mailing list creation in Banks.io. If you go to the mailing list navigation item, you'll see a bunch of stuff drop down here. Uh, and we'll kind of talk quickly about what each of these are. Now, upload from CSV is pretty simple. Uh, you simply upload a CSV. You're going to need headers for uh, at least the at street address, the first name, last name, um, and city, state, zip. You're going to want those to be in the CSV file. If you want any help getting your CSV file ready or uploaded, you can let us know, but this is pretty easy to do. You just choose the file and then you map the fields over that you want to come over. Uh, another option here for mailing list is to manually enter an address. So at any time, um, you can just create a list, new list, click save, and then you can just manually add somebody to that list. If you have an existing list, you can also just click add to list up at the top left and, and add recipients to that list. Next, let's get into something very powerful and fun. If you want to build lists from within the system, you can click on the radius search on the left side. Really cool stuff. So in this example, you would pick uh, a base address and then you would say, hey, I want, say, 100 people around this address and I want the nearest neighbors, I want absentee owners, I want people who have high home equity. We have a bunch of categories here that you can choose from and you can actually build lists within the system and you can even append their email and phone numbers to this information if you want to, to sort of use us as a bit of a lead generation source. We also have another custom list builder option. It says purchase custom list. This will allow you to get a lot more targeted with the demography here. And if you need a list built custom that where you're not seeing the things you're looking for in here, we have access in our back end to some other data sources. So just reach out to support at Banks.io if you need a very, very specific list or very targeted list for something, there's a good chance we'll be able to find that for you. Uh, next, you'll see create retargeting list. Now, this is um, if you're just creating a base list, retargeting list. This refuse, refers to our visitor view kind of anonymous website uh, retargeting. Uh, you're going to create that list, and then down at the bottom, you'll notice that you have a little bit of a code snippet, a retargeting code that you can create. And that code, I'll click get embed code, click OK. That code will actually push people who come to your website onto the mailing list automatically even if they don't opt in to anything. So here's this little retargeting script here. All you need to do is install that on your website. We can help you do it. And then it'll add people to your mailing list automatically. And then if you have campaign rules built, as we talked about in the automations video, you can automatically send follow-up mail to the, your anonymous website visitors. So that's a retargeting list. A Zapier list is basically just a list where you want to push people in from a third-party software. Right? So you just click create Zapier list, you give it a name, and then you're going to be zapping or pushing in from other integration points. And then we have create birthdays list. Uh, that'll be where you're just uploading a CSV with birthdays on them. So mailing lists are a huge component in the thanks.io system. You can push people into mailing lists a number of different ways. As always, reach out to support at thanks.io or chat us if you need any help getting a list created or started. But mailing lists are one of the main components of the system along with image templates and message templates you're going to need this stuff in order to get your campaigns going.